In this tutorial, you learn how to utilize the laser module KY008 to create a light barrier. What you see here is the final setup of this tutorial. The laser module KY008 is very easy to use and it emits a red laser light. Besides the KY008, this laser detector is used for the light barrier. Unfortunately, as far as I know, it does not have an official name, but it's often used and I guess you will find it if you search for laser detector modules. What we want to achieve in this tutorial is that we are able to detect if something is between the laser and the detector. As it's not that easy to point a red laser module exactly to the laser detector, I already prepared everything. So let's start with the laser. So it has three pins and you need two of them. The first one has a minus and you have to connect this pin to the Arduino's ground. And then there's a pin called S and you have to connect it to one of the Arduino's digital pins and I used pin number two here and the laser detector you have three pins here the first pin goes to one of the arduino's ground pins the second is our signal and i connected it to digital pin number three so basically this module does already everything for you for example you don't have to think about threshold values it just gives you a high value if the barrier is intact and it gives you a low value if something is in between the barrier. And lastly, we have the voltage supply pin, which is connected to the Arduino's 5 volt voltage supply. Okay, let's have a look at our code. So we have two variables here for our pins, one variable for the laser pin and one variable for the detector pin. Then in our setup function, we set the pin mode for the laser to output and we set a pin mode for the receiver to input. Um, then we will write out a high value to the laser pin because we want to switch it on. Then we open up our serial connection, which we will need for debugging reasons. In the loop function, we read the value from the detector a very handy thing is that the detector already gives us a high value or a low value, which means we it's not an analog pin and we have to define a threshold or something. Then we just give out the value which we retrieved from the detector. And next we set a delay of one second. So we can easier follow the output in the monitor view. Okay, I uploaded the code and now I switch off the lighting and what you see is if I move something in between the laser and the laser detector that the output goes from 1 to 0. So now it's 1 and now it's 0. So it works. But it has one problem. So if I switch on the lighting again and if I move something in between the laser and the detector what you see is that it is not zero, it's still one. So it doesn't work anymore because of the reflections of the other lighting. And what you can do to overcome this problem is to use, for example, another kind of sensor, for example, this ultrasonic sensor and also actor. And I will show you how to use this in one of my next videos. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and maybe see you next time.